All right. Hey, where are we? Here's the port. No, oh, it's over here. All right. So what do you need? Problem, madam? Sir, I'm sorry, but we're closed. As you can see, we're facing some problems right now. You, Mr. Banisher, might just be the man for the situation. <laughs> My reputation precedes me. Red McCraith, you be Mrs. Ingersoll. They call me Widow Ingersoll, as it happens. Yes, I accept your condolences. In return, accept mine. Gladly. So, the business. Yes, business. I require the services of a capable man. I've been burglarized, vandalized, and I'm left alone. I need help. Hmm. Sounds like I'm the man for the job. The shopkeeper must hear everything that goes on. Tell me something interesting. Just between us. <laughs> my trusted salesman absconded with my money, leaving me alone. That's interesting. How are things for you since the failed mutiny? Things are calmer now. But believe me, I keep a sharp eye out for any repeat. Mm. Widow Priest's mutiny should never have happened. It's just not proper. I almost like the shopkeeper. Almost. But more generally, how fares Fort Jericho? Don't ask. The captain is in his quarters, dying of the sullens. That's how fares the fort. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He lets me trade. I like the man. He says Ingersoll's store is good for the fort. I very much agree. All right. You say your store's been robbed? More than once. A thief has been stealing merchandise. And now Nathaniel has stolen the cash box and fled. You also have a haunting. That's a lot. Widow Ingersoll, I'm no constable, but in your case, I could make an exception and look into it. You could? Well, thank you. I really do need that cash box back. It's not much, but it's all I have. My damned keys are in it, too. All right. Did Nathaniel steal your merchandise, or was that someone else? I believe there were two thieves, yes. Couldn't Nathaniel be responsible for both crimes? No. He's smart. He'd not carry 20 pounds of provisions back to Boston when he could fill his purse with coin. Good point. If I were to find out that ghost is giving you trouble, would you know who it could be? A ghost? Why would you ask me about a ghost? Hire a Thatcher and they'll ask you about your roof. You find a banisher. Well, no. If I am haunted, it could only be my dead husband. Old man Ingersoll lives in my heart, but I promise you, he does not haunt me. I wouldn't be so sure. Nathaniel Sather is your salesman, as I recall. Where might he have gone? And why might he have taken the cash box? We had words. He wished to try for Boston. I need him here. A promise is a promise. Now he's a promise breaker and a thief to boot, who took the keys I kept as a memento of my late husband. I'll need to know those around your store. Your house, too. Do I have your permission? You do. I won't be far. I'll get to work. Very well. I'll be here. All right. Perhaps there's a key. Hmm. This account book isn't too healthy. 
Mind your business, Mr. McRae. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. He's not gonna get mad if I do that, dude. Is he? <sighs> he might. There's, no, there's nothing here. Okay. Be upstairs? Anyone? Uh huh. Whoops. Whoops. I'm Red McCraith, the Banisher. Show yourself. I think we're alone. There we go. Bathsheba Ingersoll said Nathaniel Sather wanted to go back to Boston. But really, he wanted to get back to his friend Thomas. We found all we could. Might be time to go after our thief. Nathaniel stole a cart. Maybe you could follow his tracks. Not Maybe. a bad idea, Mrs. Ingersoll. I don't know why the audio is doing that. I swear it sounded fine when I fired it up. Where the key to that chest is. Okay, where are we headed? Go to the where? There we go. I think perhaps the late Mr. Ingersoll may haunt his old store. To punish Nathaniel who broke his promise? Perhaps. I doubt it. Hello over here. The tracks continue this way. Oh, okay. Okay, I was just here. <laughs> it didn't uh, activate. Hmm. Nathaniel must have had motivation to flee in snow like this. Or desperation. Hmm. More cart tracks. The tracks veer to the right. Oh. Enough. Nice. <laughs> oh. 
the hand one. I think I used to count my wolf kills on one hand. I don't want block again. I'm afraid to do anything because I'll heal. <gasps> oh. Watch out. Spectre position. I have another in sight. There we go. Take that. Nice. That is great. Oh, so much better. Ghostly voices stay in this place. You know I'll not wish to bother you, mistress. But when do you think you'll pay me my wages? I'll pay you when I can, Nathaniel. You know this. You've been saying that for months now. And I'm struggling to believe it. It is in the contract that I be paid. Pay me by tomorrow. Or I must act. You must act? Do you hear yourself? Go clean the back room and hush with your nonsense. Oh, that's it. That's blooming well it. Take what is mine, I'll take it. I'm guessing this is Bathsheba's cash box. Nathaniel robbed the widow. Um He was desperate. She'd left him no choice. Hmm. What was that? Are we going the right way? Novices yep. really have no idea how many miles a banisher runs to solve a case. I once met Nero Fox, the infamous banisher who saw solved all his cases from the comfort of his armchair. I should have become his apprentice. The thing is, his apprentice was the one that went into the field for him. How did this guy get this cart all the way up these, all the way up here? I got that. Okay. The tracks continue this way. Oh, there we go. Looks that way. What with the blood and torn clothing and all.
There's blood here. Okay, so going the right way. The tracks lead into this cave. Must have been really desperate. Guess this? Maybe. Never seem to get it right. Anymore. Uh no. Still confused. Yep. That's it. Still your chance. A scale for smile. Go away! Leave me alone! Ah! Shoo! No! Give me back! Ah. Hope it was quick. The wolf took up hers. Bathsheba Ingersoll's, perhaps. Oh boy. Stay put. Never learn, do they? I'd say not. Nice. <laughs> Can't get me, can you? I think I used to count my wolf kills on one hand. Nice. Let's search the den. Poor Nathaniel shall never again see Boston. But Bathsheba Ingersoll may get her money back. Okay. Oh, Nathaniel. Poor lad. Follow my voice. Like this. Keys? Here's the belt. The purse is with it. Keys. Where do Ingersoll's? I don't doubt. I've seen this symbol in the mines below Fort Jericho. Oh. Why would she have keys to the mines? Mmm, mines. You want to take a look, don't you? Go to the mines again, huh? Excuse me. Oh, no, excuse me. 
Nathaniel Sather, I presume? The salesman at Ingersoll's store? Indeed. Well, former salesman, obviously. Killed on his journey to Boston. Yes, we found your body. Sorry about that. I'm Antea Duarte, and here is Red McGraith. We're banishers, and we've been searching for you. Banishers? Wonderful. You can help me. I am defenseless, unarmored, vulnerable. It's not something I enjoy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you can just end the conversation. You need our help, you say? Indeed I do. I wish you to pass a message to Widow Ingersoll. Pay your debts, Bathsheba Ingersoll. I think she got the message already. She owes me my wages. Her husband left money, and she has not spent it. It is close to her heart. She'll not part with it. That's why you stole the cash box. Uh, I've got some bad news, Nathaniel. You're dead. You can't spend the money. No, but Thomas can. She can send it to Boston. She knows about him. She knows about my best friend in the whole wide world. I'll ask you some questions, if you don't mind. A good boss, is she? The widow Ingersoll? Once she was as good as her husband. Now, not so much. What happened? Old man Ingersoll was the kindest of men. And God rewarded him with a talent for commerce. He taught me all he knew, and more than that, became the father I'd never had. But he took sick, and died. Bathsheba began to live for her shop alone. Nothing matters to her anymore. Mm. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about your past. Where are you from? I'm Boston born and raised. But I'd die there too. Alas, it was not to be. I miss the city life. The music. The colour and the splendour. The dance of commerce. The flower sellers forget me not. Oh, the forget me nots. Do you have family? I have Thomas. Bathsheba knows about him. About us. I know she read our letters. We're not here to judge you, Mr. Sata, or who you love. I'm in a bind now. I can get the money, and the money is mine, but I cannot use it. Bathsheba Ingersoll must send the money to Thomas in Boston. We found your purse. With the money, there were keys. Bathsheba's? Bathsheba's. She guarded the keys closely. She'd take them with her when she went out. Do you know where she was going? Not far. She was never gone more than an hour. Not far from the fort. Somewhere locked up, if the keys are any kind of clue. If I had something to hide not far from the fort, I'd hide it in the mines. Always the mines. Keepsakes of her husband, she said. A lie. Before we came to Fort Jericho, I'd never seen those keys in my life. We'll take our leave. I don't know what this key opens. I do know Widow Wingersall wants it even more than she wants her money. And if you find out why, She'll be very upset. Mm. I feel a draft. From the invisible. The south are right. Did the widow Ingersoll lie to us? One of them isn't telling the truth. We should explore the mines beneath the fort anyway. Just in case. All right. Yep. 
Look at that upper body strength. Uh, is that it? That might be it. Wait, I thought I had um Uh, you know what, let's just go. That's not what I wanted. What have you done with her, Ayamander? I was really hoping not to go back down here. Okay. Does it matter which one we do? These are the mines under the fort. This they brought more Nice. I don't like that. 
No, you don't. I have another insight. Find the symbol. Okay, good. Dark will is upon that thing. Oh, that's her. <laughs> okay. We go over here. I do not like this place one bit. Yeah, I don't either. Nathaniel was right about the keys. Now why would Bathsheba come here? Especially when that thing was down here. What's that about? Sugar, oil, and spoons. All stolen from Ingersoll's store. According to the widow, one thief stole the money and the keys and the merchandise and hid the stuff here. And that thief was the widow Ingersoll herself. Hmm. Why would she steal her own merchandise? Maybe she's planning on fleeing? Yes, all right. Oh, lantern.
There you go. The lantern, shoot it. Whoa. Think you could take on a ghost? Make a run for it. Oh, that was a miss. Careful. Okay. Oh, there's more. You've been good to me, Mr. Ingersoll, and I'll not forget it. I'll do as you ask. I'll help your good lady wife to run the store. I'll not let you down. I swear on it. Mr. Ingersoll, the late husband of our dear widow. Nathaniel seemed loyal to the Ingersolls. I wonder why he broke his promise. We should ask the widow. Chest. The ledger for Ingersoll's store. Same dates, but with much higher figures. Two different ledgers, one of which was locked inside a chest. Widow Ingersoll didn't want Nathaniel to see the accounts. She was lying to him about the finances. Why would Bathsheba lie about her finances? I will have to ask her. To keep the store, to keep Nathaniel, they're all she has. She doesn't want to be alone. Uh, I guess. I'm gonna ask her anyway. Anything else here? We go. So, Banishes, what did you find? Mr. Suffer. Amongst other things hidden in the mines, we found your contract with Mr. Ingersoll. I signed that on the day old man Ingersoll died. Tears stained the page. I promised to look after the shop, to look after Bathsheba. On my oath, I bound myself to the store, but the bonds chafed. So I took what was mine and ran. We also found an account book, a double of the one Bathsheba showed you, only healthier. Bathsheba has money. Bathsheba lies. The money is rightfully mine. 
Maybe it's time to go back to the store and confront Widow Ingersoll. I'd say that's a good idea. We'll take our leave. Thank you for your help. Find me. All right. So, uh, up here, maybe? Oh, there you are. We must talk, Mrs. Ingersoll. Sounds ominous. Hmm. So talk. I've bad news for you. I found Nathaniel's body. The wolves got him. Oh, no. Poor, poor boy. What a terrible end. Did he, uh, have my keys with him? Ah, yes. The keys. The precious keys you so ardently wished to recover. <laughs> the keys which opened first a door in the mines, then a chest sat behind that door. I found your real ledger and your so-called stolen goods. You lied to me, hoping I wouldn't go to the mines. Didn't they work? The box is mine and sold its contents. What did you do with it? I want them back. We have what we need. Perhaps it's time to end this. Mrs. Ingersoll. I have someone I want you to meet. An old friend. Ta -da. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Don't worry, Mrs. Ingersoll, all's well. You know Nathaniel Sather, of course. I'll confirm it. His ghost haunts your store. You? He who left when I needed him and lingers when I very much don't. The money is mine by right. The money is Mr. Ingersoll's. You wanted it for your precious Thomas. My Thomas is alive, and old man Ingersoll is long dead, and you have never grieved him. You keep me here to keep the store. You keep the store to keep your husband. You keep your husband to keep your heart unbroken. I cannot. It would kill me to. I lied about the books. I stole the stock and hid it, so the business would continue. So you would stay. I know. But do you hear yourself? What the hell were you thinking? I think it's time to end this. Yep. All right. Nathaniel Sather, the Ingersoll store was their labor of love, and you sacrificed much to keep it going. Now, you haunt its owner. I did nothing wrong. She withheld my wages. She lied about the store's finances. That's history now. Where you are, you can't use the money. You can't go back to Boston, Nathaniel. No, I can. I can move fast and far now. No limits. I can go. I can go to Thomas. To what end? So you can haunt him? Your heart may be bound to Thomas, but your ghost is bound to the store by your written promise to old man Ingersoll. You won't leave, you can't. Slowly you will decay, and slowly you will forget who you were. You'll forget who Thomas was. But that's, that's unfair. Life is unfair, Nathaniel. Death too. If you can't claim fairness, at least claim peace. Go now, free of your obligations. Forgive me, Thomas, for I failed you. Please, remember me as I remembered you. Farewell.
Mm. What an awful thing to have to see. Okay, so that's done. Looks like we've got three more here. There's a side quest. Oh. What? I still don't know where to get the oil for that guy. Oh, maybe she has some. Okay, there's that one. That. And... Oil? What will I do now? And how will I do it? Oh, you could sell me some oil. What will I do now? All right. And how will I do it? All right. Well, uh, that'll do it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want. And uh, uh, we'll probably do one of these other side quests when we come back. Uh, all right, guys. I'll catch you later.